Let's say good morning to you. God is so good. We up and about. Uh, do you know that your child is following you? Yeah, they're following you. Uh, listen, there are some children you cannot let them see uh, that you're shaving. They come in and they're taking that same razor when you're not there. And they're shaving also and they can end up cutting themselves. Uh, so this morning, I am emphasizing that because your child is following you, uh, you have to be careful about what you do. Uh, this following of parents uh, is going to have an effect on them throughout their lifetime. Uh, now listen to Genesis chapter 12 and verse 10. I want to read uh, all these verses. But in Genesis chapter 12 and verse 10, uh, there was a famine in the land. And Abraham went down to Egypt to sojourn there. It says, And it came to pass, when he was come near to enter into Egypt, he said unto Sarah his wife, Behold, uh, now I know that thou art a fair woman to look upon. Uh, therefore it shall come to pass, uh, when the Egyptians shall see thee, uh, that they shall say, This is his wife, and they shall kill me. Uh, so in short, in Genesis chapter 12, Abraham lies and says that Sarah is not his wife. Uh, Sarah is his sister. Uh, but I notice in Genesis chapter 26 and verse 7, you're going to read it for yourself. I notice uh, that Rebecca and Isaac, Isaac did the same thing. So Isaac is following just what his father did. Yeah, it happens. And I can go on to uh, quote some other examples. But here's the thing that I like about that. Uh, you realize that both men had pretty wives. Abraham had a pretty Sarah and Isaac had a pretty Rebecca. So the son follows the father. Children uh, follow parents and that is why we have to be careful about what we do. Uh, now, as a father and mother, uh, realize uh, that from the time you know that you will or you're planning to be a parent, uh, make sure you straighten out and fly right. Yeah, if you don't want to be embarrassed, straighten out and fly right. Now, how children grow? Uh, they grow uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and they brain like a sponge. And before you know it, uh, the child has grown up and they are ready to leave your home. Now, you may say that I'm picking on fathers, but I want you to understand something. Uh, be serious here. Uh, be serious here, men. Uh, the way for you to be happy that your child is following you is by being a positive, present father. Not an absentee father. A positive, present father. Uh, get up in the morning and make sure your children know that you are up and you woke up in the home. Uh, when you clean your throat, or go to the bedside and wake them up, pull the family together, uh, uh, pray together with them, have family worship if you can't sing, uh, well then it's a good thing to listen to some religious music, uh, open the Bible, uh, read from the Word of God, uh, make the application from the Word of God, uh, you close your family worship in prayer and pray and ask God to protect the entire family. Uh, when you finish with that, go to the kitchen and help to prepare breakfast together with your wife and help to feed the children, help to get them ready for school. I'm talking to a man here, I'm talking to a father. Yeah, this is not thing for, for wife alone. Uh, you know why I'm saying you must do all of that? Because remember your children following you, uh, both fathers and mothers. If a boy grows up in a home and he sees that his father is not helping with house chores, uh, when he grows up because of the same fact of following his dad, he will grow up to be a delinquent dad because he didn't see his dad doing that so he will not want to do it. You see how far reaching it is? Uh, then uh, understand too uh, that you must uh, teach your children to play by playing with them. And then you have to make sure you teach them to ride bicycle and you teach them to swim and uh, teach them to do all these fun things uh, because a life uh, as you teach them later on is about they following what they see you doing. Uh, so today, 
as we complete this devotional, please understand that being a parent, a successful parent, is about setting the right godly example so that your children seeing that both mother and father, they too would want to follow that godly example. And therefore, as adults, uh, they would be more fitted, better fitted and suitable to carry out their roles and functions as parents also. Our God and Father, help parents to understand that children just love following them. And so for them not to be embarrassed, help parents to follow you, Jesus Christ, doing the right thing so that when their children follow them, they would be going in the right path. They guide us throughout the day, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless you. There is a place of quiet rest.